Alright guys, so yeah, another awesome session at Vitsan. Uh, we've got lots of species and it's encouraging to see the amount of small white mussel crackers that we got. The uh, the black tail, the villa pad and uh, the whole unit. That's so really a stunning, stunning place. Saw a couple of nice Bellman also coming out next to us. So I think Vitsan is that type of spot where you can just bring the family. It's still really a, a safe uh, spot. You can do the light tackle session for the kids on the jetty. Always a uh, bit of action there as you'll see on the footage. So, um, yeah, we had a, a session last month, which was really, really good. We'll uh, show you a couple of inserts and photos from that as well, just to show you how special Vincent really is. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, yeah. Okay, good morning all. So, uh, yeah, glorious bit sun. I just want to tell Tyron there's a rock behind him for the fall. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we have got a group of gentlemen coming out with, with us today. Um, we're going to fish bit sun. Uh, first session of the day, we're going to be looking for a bit of black. I'll just scratch a bit. Maybe uh, a cracker. There's been a few around. The almond, obviously, always a target species here. So, uh, what is looking good, eh? It's, looking, uh, it's low tide now. We're going to be fishing into the pushing tide. Uh, I think it's about half past three is high tide, spring high, so uh, it should be a good session. So yeah, let's see what happens. Eh? Right, so uh, the group of guys, it's uh, Dana and Buta. I've got Henry, I've got Vernon, Gino, Joshua. Yeah, Eugene is Gina. And then I have Grant uh, and Joania as well. So it's a lucky group of guys. So I think it was four or five of them the first time in Vitsan. I think conditions looking really, really good. Uh, I expected it to be a bit calmer and flatter. But yeah, like I said, this is the first session here. It's just a, to get a feel for what's going on. Main baits we're going to be using with white mussel, a bit of red bait, a bit of prawn, um, maybe some sardine, just to get a feel uh, of, of what's happening. Uh, there's been a few fish last week on the neap tide here, yeah, which is always a good sign. We've got spring, which tend to get them feeding as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good, uh, probably four or five hour session now. So, yeah, let's uh, hope we can show you guys some fish. I'm just going to start with a little simple pink prawn bait. The pink prawn tail. I'm going to go with thin bait first. Water seems a bit chilly, so yeah, I was going to split this one in half lengthwise. Use a scissor sword as well. We've got a 0.45 uh, diameter fluorocarbon with the 1 adrenaline circle, not snell. Alright. Go in here. I just get it on the hook and then I'm going to use the uh, the latex just to put everything or keep everything in place for us. So, right, so uh, nice and simple but just to start with anything really charges us, especially this side of the coastline. We've got Cracker, Bellman, the works, Hull you know, on it, everything. I just want to put this hook away slightly. So, Okay, good little bait and yeah, let's see what happens. just had two very good pulls. I was using white muscle, so I'm going to go with a thin pink prawn bait and I'm just going to add a piece of white muscle next to it and I'll probably just hook it on there. Just get it on there and then just use your bait cotton just to shape it. Really far cast. That it is low tide while well, it's starting to push now so in theory the fish should start feeding anytime soon now. Um, everything changes on the pushing tide. Yeah, looking forward to this little session. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's sometimes frustrating, but it, it's really not fun, but it's, it's, 
it's always nice just to figure it out for the day, you know, and then get into their pattern and you know, start catching a few fish. Right, mate, we, we have a little cracker. Oh, beautiful little cracker there. Obviously, we're looking for the bigger ones. Oh, yeah, they are special. It's an iconic South African fish. These are, these are little kissy kiss kiss. You say, I got they. Right, so uh, yeah, I was going to show you how to do an FG. It's going to be reasonably quick, but it will give you an idea. The tie off that I use is very, very simple. So uh, I'm just going to do 18 wraps around it. So you have your braid, more importantly, tension. Like a guitar string, not too tight, but just yeah, some tension. Choose your best tooth, best tooth. <laughs> so, lead it over it like that, pinch it underneath, lock it. Underneath, lock it. Underneath, lock it. Underneath, lock it. Carry on like that 18 times. So. Alright, lock it. That's done. Now I can let go of it. Um, just hold it with your uh, thumb and forefinger. You don't want it to unravel. So all you do now, that's your leader, sorry, that's your main line, that's your leader tag in. Fold around it once. And make a loopy, just a little loopy. Pull it up there, one loop. Do another loop around both ends. There you go. One more loop. That's just to secure the knot. There you go, that's the FG almost done. Now I just want to secure that piece there, but just another three loops from the back. Simple, just let it roll up against the. See, pull it tight. Pa. Grant on, grant on, grant on, go, go. Alright, so just, uh, I saw the other day on the beach that some of the guys didn't know about the, the barbel that can actually, uh, yeah, you know, ping you. Sting. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, so, this is a black barbel. So you have a very, very sharp tip over there, that you can see. That one as well, and on the back fin. So just, yeah, be careful. Ooh. I'm put. Alright, so this one swallowed the hook, so all I'm going to do is going to bite it off and then uh, go, let it go. Mm -hmm. Do you want something to help you cut it? Yeah, fine. Okay, there we go. You just hold it like that. Just like that made his arm on. The, uh, the swell is much bigger than what they predicted for today. So, uh, generally with, uh, with low tide, it can be a bit strong. But as soon as, uh, especially where there's a lot of reef, on the pushing tide, that strong water just rolls in beautifully. So that's what I'm, what I'm hoping for. So at the moment, not really a lot of spots to cast from. But, uh, yeah, we're also very optimistic. So. Right, so uh, I'm going to start just to pan over the water here, especially to the left. You can see it's a, like a darker patch. That's a deeper, like a gutter. On the, where the white water is, there's a very, very shallow rocky bank. So where the water's breaking now, that's going to be rock, very, very shallow. It's going to roll and it's going to dip away into the hole. So you want to be on that line where the white water dips into the hole. That's where they should be feeding. I might have passed a bit too, too far, but yeah, let's go. Prachtige invite geweest my man. Net ek op a weer. Hoe is daar? Shut the 
pinky ball, just a pinky ball. Right. So I'm going to do a, a pink prawn bait, uh, just scratching, there's still a 1-0 drain in the circle, 4 ounce sinker, uh, my, my trace is a 0.57 maxima, the diameter 0 0.57, 0.50 uh, kingfisher, just for the sinker, slightly thinner as well, 4 ounce, little uh, single swivel, the leader is uh, 0.70, with a little uh, FG knot there, so yeah, there's a, there's a big reef, flat flat reef, as you can see in the front here, flat reef, the water's pushing very, very nicely now. Then there's a bit of a drop-off, it's about a meter and a half drop-off with a beautiful hole. So I'm gonna cast just over the reef, see if I can maybe get a, another crack to a bronze green for it. Yeah. This is a piece of bloodworm, very, very shallow. Uh, not the biggest parts of the world, but something. So, yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, small, small little fishy, probably little, I don't know, but yeah, it's, it's very, very quiet. <laughs> it's very quiet. It seems like the bigger fish just gives you one drick. That's it. So, uh, yeah, it's actually very, very small. Um, Baba Crocker here. I'm Traxxas. Look at the colors of that black tail. Yes, yeah. Beautiful dark fish. Almost like a pink purple hue. It's a gorgeous there, you know. Look at that. Look at the fins. Very, very underestimate the fish. They are really stunning fish. So, yeah. Okay, it's getting back. Beautiful dark, eh? Well done, Dave. I'm a bright dude. Ja, dat kan kosten, dan zijn we vanavond eet in, ja. Wat zou Asie eten lijf? Eh, sardijn gebruik. Ja, ik wil lekker sardijn Asie. Ja, mooi koeri. Die lijkt donker. Ja, mooi donker kleren. Ik weet niet, ja. Moet hij over naar de stomp of die brui. Wat die gebruik is sardijn, nee? Ja. Oké, kwaad. Dat is wel dat. Lots of young fish today, baby fish. So, ja, that's why I brought Dain. He's an expert in catching the smaller specimens. En drijven niet, dan gaan. Dan zou je dat als het leder. Als het leder niet tapt, dan gaan dan. Dan ga je zo dan op dat. Dan ga je hem net vast. En dan had ik zo eens koelie.
far more water I'm doing a point four seven fluorocarbon. Uh, the, it was really clean when we got this morning. It's a bit more colour now, so we're going to continue with the you know, with the white muscle bait. We've got a few uh, small chalets and a small cobby. So I'm going to go in with the white muscle bait, and then later I'll put a, a, a proper carp bait. Uh, we got a little cobby, so they, the chance is very, very good to get a bigger cop. So yeah, let's uh, hope for the best. It's a 46. I want to hear that crack. That crack. Not, not, not the prescribed South African fishing boots for the masses. For sure. Okay, so uh, now with the water being off color, we're gonna go with the red bait. Uh, red bait, you'll catch anything. It's all in. Course, that will a bad cracker, yeah. So, we'll give it a go. So, with the red bait, just get it on the hook. You're going to use your bait cotton to shape it. Just get it on there, put it over the eye of the hook. That's your anchor point. Like a groot to the garage. You want the fish to find the bait in this dirty water. I like it like a streamlined, long streamlined bait so it doesn't pull down over your hook point when you cast. And then the bottom, I like it like a bubble key, like a soft bubble. Big bait for the size of the hook, but the hook point stays proud. The eye of the hook is over there, so it's just secure tightly above it. And then once around the finger twice. There we go. Okay, so almost immediately, you know, I've got a few bites in the red bait. Let's skip this stock a bit. See if we can get something. Right, so, nice little chocker bait, it's in a 5 -0. circle, the clip is clearly exposed there for the singer to clip on easily. It's uh, three tentacles, I haven't bashed them, and then uh, yeah, nice little soft chocker. So yeah, get them in a cobweb smooth down. This is a bubble eye. You can keep on casting all day if you pass like that. No problem. Just show me where to stick my walking stick and you're good. Wat zal als dit hier al gebruikt? Oh, 
little Wonder Woman bait. They've got a bit uh, mushy. I'm going to start with the head as a base. Just get it on there. So, so the head part of the Wonder Woman is generally the, the tougher part. And the, the body is very, very soft. Sometimes difficult to, to uh, use as a bait. But yeah, just use your bait cotton. Just get it on there. Uh, especially with the medium and thin latex. And, And with the tail pieces, I like to give it like a, like a streamline in the top and like a little soft blob in the bottom. Tie it on nicely, like that. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, so this area is a bit of scattered reef, uh, some sand as well. I don't really fish here often in this specific area, but this is where the main beach really starts. From Bitsa. So uh, that's the last ball. It's the first section of reef that should hold some fish. Oh, yeah. There's a wonder moment out just over the lip. But a beautiful rolling water. So, yeah. Uh, it, you need rolling water. I mean, most of the fish we got today was in a bit of a roll. It's, it's just cover for the fish. It looks like it's soft rolling water the whole time. It's a piece of structure. So, it's very. All right. So, uh, yeah, just to give you guys some form of like a point of reference where we are. Uh, this is the main swimming beach at Vitsan and then around the corner there were the two people are walking just around the corner that will be the mouth of the Breda River which is a legendary spot for big big cock. So yeah, uh, in front of would be across the way over there. Uh, beautiful area as well. Yeah, special special place. I mean there's no crime here. Good fishing and uh, yeah, just stunning. It's like a three hour drive from, uh, from Cape Town. Just got a bite as well so let's see if we can <laughs> maybe convert it. Give it a little bit of a... I think it's a small black tail this. A uh, small black tail. Oh, probably a black tail. <laughs> and those cameras. There's a little baby, baby white cameras. That's the Wonder Woman bait. Well, that's my boy now. And the ones here, they really, really... Well, except for the fact that they can stick you, they're really threatened, so this one needs to go back. Okay, another, another uh, Wonder Woman bomb. Okay, so just give you what we're going to be looking for. It's fan up in the front here. A little piece of white water, and then the water will rush up onto the bank and it's going to move to the right into this gutter. So that's definitely a feeding area, holding area. So the salt's going to run in. It's going to create white water, it's going to dip in like this, so I've got a sand puff cup, so it should be a bit off. Like a caught on a little white muscle bay. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get him back. I like it. 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 En een ander soos gali. Daai oom het een ander soos gali gevang. Daai ander oom het een blaas op die gevang. En ja, oom daai het een ander soos gali gevang. Ja, so ons het een... Ons is een dag bij Jetty. Tjokka is... Ons gebruik een tjokka voor ons. En ehm... Ons vang een klomp klein stom nie. So ons trend so daai rondom vijf tot 6-7 centimeter en ek het gister was ons kameraman bezig om kriket te kijk rugby te kijk toe, recht al so en laat my daar rooi MRT toe vang ek een half granter 3 van hulle, 21,5 centimeter en ja 
Ik kijk of vandaag daar nog een te vang. Wat? Jo, dat is hij. En daar is 5-4. Nu check jou. Ik heb net die aardige gevang. Stok was hier, stok was amper ingetrek en het zijn jaren. Hopelijk, spat die aard. Hoi. Right guys, uh, yeah, so another awesome session, but so the stay is a special place. The fishing was, was tough, uh, but we landed quite a few nice species. Um, lots of young white muscle cracker, which is always always good to see. Uh, lots of young Kholyun, uh, Villapad, so yeah, some more steenies as well. The big fish did escape us today, uh, well this, these couple of days, but yeah, it's, it's always a special and safe place to bring the family. And uh, really looking forward to the to our next trip.